Hello, this is Lucas and in this video we will be going over animations in JavaFX. So firstly, there are a lot of animations. I'm not going to go through all of them in this video. Okay, I'm going to go over one of them, which is a uh, rotation, the rotation animation. And there are other ones, there's like scale, translate, it's fill, pause, path, there's a lot more where you can check out. There's a lot of resources available online where you can check them out. But I hope that this video will be able to help you understand how animations work and then you can use the knowledge that you gain from this video to use uh, in the other animations. So let's get started with creating our rotation animation or it's it's an animation but it's more of a transition, right? So uh, the animation that we are using is a rotation and the rotation animation it's just going to transition an object, which we're going to be using a polygon uh, to just transition that uh, the object in a rotation uh, manner. Okay, so let's create this. So we'll do polygon, right? We'll do polygon, and then I'll just name it like hex. Oh, we'll, we'll just do Paul. Right, we'll do Paul. Equal that to a new. Uh, Polygon. Okay, so once that is created, we need to set the point of the of this polygon that we are creating, or it's a hexagon that we're actually creating. So we'll do uh, pol dot get points. Now we need to get the points first and then add them. So it's not set points; it's get points, and then we add onto those points. Okay, so that's the way that works. So then we'll do add all. Now in here we will do new double because it's going to be like an array, it's going to be a double array. All right, so new double and then we'll do the curly brackets and then a semicolon at the end. And inside of here is where we are going to be setting the coordinates of our hex um, hexagon. So we can give a few values. So these have to be doubles, so we'll do something like, I don't know, we'll do 200. Then we'll do uh, 50.0. So th this is just all of the points of our polygon, okay? Which is the shape of a he hexagon. All right, so we'll do, then we'll do 400.0. We'll give the other value at 50.0. So if the, if people don't understand what this means, okay, it's uh, it's pretty simple. These are like the this is like the x value. This is the y value, and this is one point of our of our shape okay and then it will just draw a line from x y values to the next x y values and then it'll just join them together okay just for people that don't understand what these values mean so then we do 450.0 do another value of 50.0 and let's do something else like 400.0 uh, 250.0 then we do 200.0 to 50.0 and then one more to finish off the hexagon we'll do 150.0 and 150.0 okay and just like that we have created a hexagon that has uh, six points all right and every single point will create a line between this point sorry between this point to this point and so on and then this point will create a line from this point to this point so we create a, just a basic hexagon. So once we have our shape or any any component, you know, we can use any component for this. We can use a, a button, an image, a label, anything, okay? We can even use a layout, okay? So we can use anything. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set this, the shape of this, uh, sorry, the, the color of this to, let's just set this to the, Color, uh, I don't know. Color blue, I think, would be the best one. All right, color blue. Okay. Next, we need to create the animation. So we'll do a rotate, rotate transition. We'll give it a value of. I'll just do rotate. Equal that to a, a new rotate transition. Okay, so once that is done, we need to set a few properties for uh, the for this transition. So we'll do rotate 
dot set duration. So this is how long uh, this this animation will last for. So we'll have to specify like this. So we we'll do duration dot millis, which is for milliseconds, and then we'll just give it one thousand, which is just a second. Okay. Next thing. We need to set uh, what object we want to rotate. So we have this hexagon called Paul. So what we have to do is we have to do uh, rotate dot set node, and yeah, we will specify Paul for our polygon shape. Next one, we'll do the angle. So what angle do we want it to rotate to? So we want to do it all the way, all right? So we'll do a uh, rotate dot set by angle and we'll give it a value of 360 all right then we'll do a rotate dot set cycle count so how many times will it rotate so we'll just do something like five for now all right and then finally we'll do rotate dot set auto reverse so if, if it is it going to reverse back once it finishes the 360 uh, degrees that we have set here let's set this to false we don't want that to happen and then finally to actually activate this we'll do rotate dot play and this rotate dot play will just start the animation all right so if we run this it will not work because what we need to do is we need to actually group this together so we'll do group uh, we'll just create a name we'll do a root for here and we'll do with equals to a, a new group and we will add in our poll okay just like this and now when we run it you'll see we have our amazing hexagon that we have created and it just continues to uh, rotate once it does it five times it will stop so let's just do it again you can see that I just rotates it stops once it finishes the 360 and then it goes again so let's say we let's say we do this at 90 for example let's see what happens if we do 90 you can see that it will take one second that we have set here it will take one second to rotate to 90 degrees and it will do that five times and it will not reverse it so let's just run this again let's set this to 10 times Okay, and it will rotate 90 degrees 10 times and then it will stop. If we set this to true, you'll see what's going to happen. Once it gets, once it rotates 90 degrees, it will just go back to, to the start. All right. Now this will take one second and then back it will also take one second. Okay. So that's about it for this video on animations. I hope this video helps. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.